Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. Today I thought I would do my running late hairstyles for you that are my fail safe, no heat. I can do them on the ferry on the way to work if I need to. Just really quick, super, super fast styles that you can do anywhere when if you're running late for school, if you want to do an everyday hairstyle, or if you're running late for work, more specifically. I tend to sometimes run late for work when I've not stuck to my routine. So I thought this might be really helpful. So if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it would absolutely make my day. And let's get into the video. Okay, so this is probably the most popular hairstyle that I do. Um, it just is so easy and it's so quick and you can do it anywhere and I sometimes feel like it's the messier the better and this is the ponytail. So what I normally do is just use my fingers rather than a brush to um, pull all my hair up and um, secure it with a hair bubble. Now I say hair bubble because I'm northern, it might be a hair tie or something else to you guys, but it's a hair bubble for me. Anyway, I tie it up in a high pony and then once I've kind of loosened it out a little bit from the hair tie, um, I then take a piece of hair from underneath the hair bubble and then I'm going to wrap it round um, just a couple of times um, onto, uh, around the hair tie so people can't see it and then I'll tuck it back into the hair tie underneath and I feel like this just gives a really, really nice um, sleek look which it looks quite professional I think um, so yeah that's probably the one that I do the most and um, I think it looks great it looks really like nice and sleek and yeah it takes two seconds style number two is also an absolute firm favorite of mine and that is the messy bun i feel like the messier the better with this and it still looks really professional and it takes two seconds to do and i know all my friends do it so basically you pull out all your hair up and once you start to bring the hair bubble into the ponytail you grab some of the hair that's coming through and keep it there and then keep tying it round so then it kind of forms a little bit of a messy bun at the beginning anyway and then all you need to do is take bits of the hair that are kind of sticking out and tuck them back into the bubble this kind of gives it that extra messy look and I feel like it kind of completes the look a little bit more rather than just leaving it on its own I also like to try and texturize the hair a bit so I'm just kind of playing around with the bits of hair and like teasing them out so it's not all kind of in one place and it's all like a bit even and even messiness all over the hair. If you'd like a more extended tutorial on this then just click here. So this hairstyle is a fairly new one to me but I absolutely love it and basically you pull all your hair to the side and tie it in a hair bubble. I use the really clear plastic ones especially for this look because you'll see why in a minute. And basically you're popping a little hole through your hair and pulling your hair through the centre. Does anyone remember doing this when they were little because I used to love doing this and I don't know why I stopped. Anyway. I then do the same thing at the center part of my hair, which you can see here, and then just make another hole and pull it through. And what it creates is this just totally cute, kind of fun and flirty little hairstyle that took me two seconds to do. I don't need a mirror for this, even though I am using one, but you definitely don't need a mirror for this. And it just kind of looks really, really nice. And you can mess this up a bit more, and you could even, if you've got longer hair, do it again at the bottom. And um, it just creates such a nice look that I feel you could definitely wear this into work. So for the fourth hairstyle, this is the top half messy bun 
and you're pulling the top quarter of your hair up high and then back combing it just to give it like a little bit of volume and basically you're then pulling out kind of strands where you don't think it really works like up here I've pulled too much hair up and then what I'm doing is going to twist my hair into a bun it's really simple to do it takes two seconds as you'll be able to see here I'm just going to twist it around like so and then into a bun and it just looks really really cute I really love it I think it looks good with a corporate outfit and then it kind of looks a bit of messy hair on top or even with kind of a more chilled relaxed work outfit or even school if you're watching and you go to school hello so yeah and then I'm just pulling extra bits of the hair out and messing it up slightly but it's just super simple super quick and I absolutely love it For the last hairstyle, I am doing a half braid at the top of my head. So all I'm doing is taking a section at the top of my hair and then dividing it into three separate sections and braiding it. And basically then pulling the extra bits of the hair from each side of my head into the braid. And what I'm then going to do is tie it, oh, there's a neighbor. <laughs> and then tie it once I get halfway down my head into a bobble and then wrap some hair around the bobble. So um, I'll show you now once I've just finished this braid. As you can see, I'm just, I've am just finished incorporating bits from each side of my head and I'm just doing a little bit of a plait there. Uh, I forgot the word. And then I'm, as you can see here, that's, it's just really simple. It's nothing like crazy to do. I and mean, you can do this on the ferry as well. And taking a piece of the hair and wrapping it around the bobble. And basically then I'll use a hair, t um, not a hair tie, a bobby pin to secure this in place just at the back, which you can see here. And that's just really simple, really quick. And it's just quite a nice little chilled hairstyle where the hair is out of your face. And they were my top five hairstyles for when you're running late. I hope you found them useful. If you did, then please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe because it would absolutely make my day. And I will see you again on the next video.